Hello AWS friends and welcome to the second part to this video. Now let's try the third approach and this is also the way I would recommend you access the secrets from the secrets manager and this is by using environment variables to your task definitions or your batch job, job definition. So you're going to need in your task definition, if we're talking about a Fargate service, you going to add a environment variable. In Fargate we have this feature which is called secrets and here you can straight ahead add the name of your secret and the ARN of your secret. So just um, copy the ARN here and then the name of the secret and this command is going to resolve automatically the secrets from the secrets manager. Of course the task role or better the execution role needs the policy to read and decrypt secrets. In a, Java, in a batch job for AWS it's a little bit different. You need also an environment variable but the secrets command is unfortunately not yet available. I hope AWS is going to enable this feature also for job definitions for batch. Therefore you have to use the command environment. The name is again the DB secret or whatever the name of your secret is. And you have to use this command, this resolve command, which is going to um, be able to read the secrets from your manager. If we take a look on the task definition for the Fargate task, so you can find here in environment variables once your CloudFormation stack is deployed, this value here, key is the DB secret, and here again is the ARN and your Fargate job will be able to read the secret for batch jobs. It's in the job definition and you have also a section in environment variables and here you can already find the decrypted and the resolved secret from the secrets manager. To make it run in our sample application so we have to comment out the last approach, the JDBC library. We have to this time enable this solution, read environment variables. What we're going to do is we get the environment variable from the context. <clears throat> Again, we're going to use the get string methods to read these values out of the JSON and then finally we're going to create the connection string again. We put it in our spring environment application properties and then we're going to be able to connect to the database. To make it run locally of course you have to add the value which you have here um, as a run parameter. To your environment. The Fargate service don't need this. The Fargate service will read the value from the environment vari variable which you have defined in the task definition. So let's see if our local application is going to be able to read and decrypt the password. It's starting and as you can see it has already read the name, the password and has set up the connection string. Let's try again if the application is running. Yes and also let's see if it can connect to the database and it can also connect to the database. I have also a simple batch 
program, a Java program. This is not Spring Boot. This is a simple Java app, which can which you can use to test um, the whole approach for AW batch. So this program does the same thing as the Spring Boot application. It reads a secret from the environment. It's using again the get string method to read the JSON arrow and then since this is a simple um, POC it's only printing out the DB user and the password to demonstrate it can read passwords from the secrets manager. If you're really using um, this program to connect to a database again for example if it's a spring application just put it in your properties and we can have a look on AWS batch. So I already did run these jobs and you can find here again the environment variable and we can have a look in the logs and they should print out the password and the username if it used to be successfully. And here's the output from our little batch program, AWS batch. So this is the output. It started, it's reading the secret. This is the whole JSON array. And then the username and the password. And then it's shutting down. So the whole approach is also working for AWS. Keep in mind for Fargate, you can use the secrets command to add this environment variable for job definition for AWS batch. The secrets command is not yet available. You have to use environment and resolve the secret with this command and put it there into the value. So I hope this helps. You find the code in my GitHub account. Have fun and thanks for listening.